we make bespoke bicycles, mostly out of steel in Sheffield. Field Cycles has been going properly as Field Cycles and as a collaboration for about the last three years. The sum of our parts comes together to, to make these beautifully crafted, exciting, functional bicycles. Everything is based on quality. Whatever we take on is always going to be focused on that. My name's Harry Harrison and I'm one third of Field Cycles. I'm generally always in the middle of making something and I really enjoy that process of crafting an object as well as I possibly can. I think I equally share an obsessive nature in terms of how things should look as well. I guess over invest massively time wise on each frame. It needs to be unique and it's as special as the very first one we'd worked on. We all need to be comfortable with what goes out the door. My job is to almost make sure that the paint we finally apply to a frame is as good as Harry's craftsmanship and everything that's led up to that. I'm Tom Smith and I look after the aesthetic side of the field cycles. How the bikes look and the design behind the paint and the ground and how we're perceived. Well, I think the three of us, we do, we each do our own, our own bit to the best that we can, I think. With no other thought, you know, no market thoughts really, maybe we should have a bit more of that, but just in terms of, do, I want to do this bit, my bit as best as I can. You know, when you see Harry's frames and Tom's designs, I, I think, Christ, I need to sort of keep up. My name is John Burke and I do the paintwork for Field Cycles. Well, I feel like doing this is a bit of a combination of things I've done before. There's a lot of woodwork and cabinet making and fine art painting and the sort of elements of all those things are not, not in terms of like the tools and stuff, but the measuring and use of colours and it's all the method of doing things. It's all sort of come together doing this. I set out to perfect the fabrication of the frame and the design of the frame in terms of how it rides and the kind of proportions. And then I quickly realised we need to make them extremely beautiful. That's where Tom got involved as the designer, the graphic designer. He's responsible for how beautiful they look and the final kind of layer that reveals itself to the world. And also how we present ourselves to the world in terms of the website and the photography. And then another friend of mine called John Burke, who had a very healthy career as a painter, fine art painter, took on actually painting the frames and realising Tom's designs. Tom does things because he's, he's removed from the actual paint process, he does things that are awkward, but at the same time enhance the design, which, if, you know, if, if anybody was actually doing the paintwork, they, they just wouldn't they'd do it slightly differently to make it easier to do, but it would, it, would, it would affect the design in a negative way, I think. I mean, it might get to a point in the future where you design something that I think, I just really can't do that, and then we'll have to discuss it, but I think it works best as it is at the moment. Harry challenges me with the beauty and the craft that he puts into each frame and effectively I'm trying to pass that on to John as well. He's as obsessed and passionate about every little detail as we all are really and I think together it means that we create something that is a complete one-off in the world and is only ever going to be one of them. 
It's a really, really dark art making a bike. Like the tubes are so thin. As soon as you warm them up, they start doing unpredictable things. The fascinating bit of it for me as well is working out how to do it, the new techniques. If I need to make a particular tool or fixture or explore a particular technique, I really enjoy that process. At the heart of every piece of graphic design that goes into our frames is kind of a core idea or a sense of trying to achieve something or kind of represent something across that frame that's unique to the person that's going to be riding a frame or it's, it's trying to represent what cycling means to that person. Whether it's the way bits of rice fall on a table when you drop them or the way something flows down a river or something, I think it's much more interesting to interpret odd little things. One thing I've been playing with recently is the idea of trying to capture on a frame and on a couple of forks that we've done a collaboration of Columbus is the flow of air across a frame and trying to represent that graphically. Just try and do something that's a little bit unusual for a static object. It's almost as if it's moving whilst it's standing still. We're not bringing out a new model next year to make you feel slightly disappointed about your last year's new model. I get a lot of emails from field customers who are out enjoying their bikes. The sentiment that kind of runs through it always seems to be that they really, in, they feel like it's their bike rather than a bike. It is satisfying to see people almost like they can relax, they don't have to go shopping for a new one. Been cycling as a kid, even when you know, when we're talking about showing me age over 30 years ago now, the Tour de France highlights used to be on Channel 4. Looking forward to that at six o'clock. Loved it as a sport, but the sport bikes are amazing, amazing thing, amazing invention, really. Any day of the week, you know, given, given whatever the weather's doing, there's nothing I'd rather be doing than, than being out cycling in the Peak Districts. And I think it's probably one of the biggest sources of inspiration is just seeing on, on a bike and, and riding down in and around a beautiful landscape and the sights you see and the things you hear and the, you know, the physical side of it as well. And the, the, the challenge and the desire to keep doing better and bigger things is absolutely what field's about. trying to make the most unique, beautiful thing we possibly can. And if you want that unique, beautiful thing made by us, you can't get it anywhere else in the world. It's just, you have to come directly to us.